Hey guys, today I have a haul. We went to Target. So I went there the other day and I figured I would share with you guys everything I picked up. Some things are complete random and some things just were super cute and I just had to pick it up. So we're gonna get right on into it. If you guys would like to subscribe to my channel, if you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I'll start off with this item. This is super random, but your girl wanted it, okay? This is the Chic Intuition Pure Nourishment Razor. It has coconut milk and almond oil in here. I've definitely purchased this in the past, especially when I was younger like maybe just starting out shaving like literally younger or whenever they came out I think it was like nine bucks or so and I'm really excited that there's coconut and almond oil in there because I feel like it's just gonna give a really hydrated feel to the skin I don't know we'll see but had to get that the next thing I picked up is this item right here this is called the mix bar this is a body and hair mist I was super intrigued apparently it is like trending right now and it's like the hottest thing this is the blackberry tonic and it smells like a straight up high-end luxury perfume. I'm not even kidding. Like it smells so good, not overpowering, which I thought was really good. So we're gonna try it out. The scent, I believe it's called Cloud Musk or something like that. That's completely sold out like everywhere. And that's the one that's like trending. Kind of reminds me of like the Victoria's Secret body mist. I'm gonna try to go back and get the other one whenever it's out. If you have that one, let me know how you like it because I've heard so many good things on it. But this one is the Blackberry Tonic, like I said, and I'm really excited to try this out. I can't describe the scent. You have to go to Target and you have to pick it up. Next item is more of a self-care item again, and it's this Eco Tools little loofah. This, this is the Eco Tools Eco Puff. It's a dual cleansing pad, so it's like flat, can use it like on your hand and then little loofah. We definitely needed another one of these. I love loofahs, but I did see this and I like the fact that it has this little cleansing pad as well with it. And it's basically gonna just be a really good exfoliator. So we love that. Love new like self-care bath relaxing items. So had to get this really just kind of boring, but <laughs> definitely needed one of those. Sticking with that whole theme of body care, I went ahead and picked up this Nivea body lotion. This is the Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Moisture. And it has almond oil in here. It's supposed to give you like that really nice glowy skin. I saw my girl Nicole Tanningberg talk about this. So of course I had to pick it up and I'm really obsessed with their other lotion, so I figured I'd try this one out as well. For dry to very dry skin, I don't have like super dry skin, but definitely just something that I need to get that moisture back and we love a good glowy skin moment, so had to get this. Next thing I got is this super cute little PJ set and it's from the brand Grayson Threads. I had to get this because look at this top. It's like a beige crop top and it has a little lightning bolt on it. I definitely don't think that it's just gonna be a sleepwear top for me, but I thought that was really, really cute. And it also came with this little bandana, little tiger stripe bandana, which I thought was cute. And I love PJs like this. You'll always catch me in like a big baggy t-shirt. This is cropped of course, but I feel like I'm always wearing a baggy t-shirt to bed. So super cute. And this one was 20 bucks for both of that. Love that. And kind of just like impulsive. I saw it on the way out and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab you. Okay, next item I was super excited for. I wish you guys saw my face when I was in the store because I initially saw this on like a little side end cap and they didn't have a specific one that I needed. Then I went to the aisle where they usually are and I found it. It was like the last one sitting there and I was super, super excited. It's this horoscope candle. First of all, look how like luxe this looks. I'm obsessed with the black glass. So of course mine says Virgo. I am a Virgo. Soy candle. I fell in love with this. I first saw this on Instagram, like one of these Instagram accounts for Target, and I was like, okay, I'm getting in the car right now and I'm going to find that candle. I cannot wait to start burning this. This does have a charcoal and sage scent, which I didn't think I was gonna like at first, but I actually like really love this scent right now. Wow. If you are itching to get a horoscope candle, go to Target right now, literally right now. And the best part is it's only eight bucks. Okay, so I recently picked up some pompous grass, which is behind me and it's gonna be like displayed better, but right now it's over there. I picked it up on Etsy. I really needed like a taller, kind of skinnier neck vase and I couldn't find one for the life of me anywhere. And the ones that I did find were like $60 and I was like, mm, no. So I went to Target and this was waiting in the little kitchen section, but it still works and I'm obsessed with it. The stoneware little vase, oh. My goodness, I love the bottom. I love the little texture of the bottom. If you guys remember my last Target haul, you would have seen the mug that I picked up, which is the matching little mug set. I love the way that it looks. I love the two-tone, I love the texture, the shine. It does have more of that skinnier neck, which is perfect 
for pompous grass just because I didn't want it to be like so floppy, I guess. It just fits it perfect. I tried it out the second I got home because I was just too impatient and it does work amazing. Fits it perfect and I just think it really goes well with like my aesthetic that I have going on right now. Love it. So if you are looking for a nice vase like this or a similar style, go to Target. They do a few similar, more like that color, like regular ceramic. Um, in like the original home section. More of that kitchen section that's new. This is where she is and I'm obsessed with it. So this was 20 bucks. Oh no, this was only $15. So love that, $14.99, such a good deal. So the only makeup item that I picked up, which isn't even makeup, it's more of just a beauty tool, is this e.l.f. brush right here. This is their pointed powder brush. And do I need another brush? Absolutely not, but I love e.l.f.'s brushes. I love the flexibility. The bristles just feel really nice, so did want to pick this up. I did want to get another one for blush. I've been loving blush recently, as you guys probably know. And I wanted to test out some other brushes for blush as opposed to a stippling brush. I believe it was only like four or five dollars. So super inexpensive. I love e.l.f. brushes. And this was on clearance, which I'm not sure why, but it's this little acrylic tray and it's by the brand Noted. This is mainly for like your post-it notes in these little squares, if you can see that, okay. I'm not going to be using it for that purpose. I figured I'd use it for my makeup table. I'm not sure what's gonna go in here yet, but maybe like some primers, foundation, or whatever I'm using at the moment. I do already have some clear acrylic trays that I use, but everything on my table is either glass or acrylic because I just love the look of it and it's just super chic looking and clean. Super elegant, oh I love that already. And it has the little grippies at the bottom so it'll stay on the table really nicely. The depth of it is not deep or anything, which is okay, um, but I just don't know exactly where I'm gonna put in it yet. Super cute, it was only $6 as opposed to 13. Next thing I picked up is this sports bra and it's by the brand All In Motion. This one was $16. This reminded me of the Gymshark ones, honestly, the way that they do stretch and the material of it. This one is more of that like low support kind of sports bra. Just has a little bit of padding in there. So it's more of like that seamless kind of material, super stretchy and there's like no wiring or anything. It looks really tiny on camera. I did get a size small. I think it'll be fine. Not that exciting. It's just a black sports bra, but I did need another one. It's this Olay body wash. Packaging, call my eye, I love that. And this is their nighttime body wash. So it smells like that like lavendery smell. It just puts me in like a really relaxing state. I love it. It doesn't say that it's lavender, but to me it smells like that. It's also infused with retinol and vitamin B3. That's just gonna help the moisture of the skin. So it's like lavender-ish, but like not 100% if that makes sense. I don't know. You should go to Target and pick this up because I'm so excited to use this tonight. You have no idea. Even if it's not lavender, it still smells like that and it still feels like it's going to be relaxing for me. Love it regardless, love the packaging. Honestly, looks super sleek and elegant-ish and cannot wait to use it. So those are all the items that I picked up this time from Target. Oh, like I said, there's other items that I did pick up like that candle, that ceramic candle back there and that little stand is from Target as well. I'm obsessed with that candle. I'll pop in a picture right here of the candle I'm talking about. I love it, it's about $13 in their candle leg aisle. That's all the items that I picked up from Target this time. I'll definitely be back there very soon. Let me know where else you guys would like me to do a haul from. I feel like this haul wasn't as big, but I love doing hauls. Yeah, I think that's all for this video. I'm gonna try to link all these products down below for you guys. Definitely head to your Target if you are having that little itch to shop, go to Target. So I believe that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye.